March the 1st, President Putin announced a new generation of weapons vastly superior to anything developed around the world. In Russia, such a A hypersonic system. An ICBM with unlimited range. Weapons that can fly through dense layers of the atmosphere. A nuclear-powered cruise missile. Underwater drones. A unique combat laser complex. Russia says it was forced to come up with a weapon capable of bypassing missile defenses in order to restore nuclear parity. The Kinjal MiG-31 can launch hypersonic missiles that can travel at more than 10 times the speed of sound. Thanks to that and their unpredictable trajectory, they are unstoppable. It's an unrivaled weapon. The US doesn't plan to test its hypersonic weapon until 2019. The avant-garde hypersonic vehicle can fly it up to 20 times the speed of sound. An ICBM will take it to an altitude of several dozen kilometers, from where it can dive headfirst back to Earth at top speed with aircraft-like maneuverability, dodging any missile defenses. In contrast, when other existing ballistic missiles re-enter the atmosphere, they fly at a preset trajectory, making them easy targets for ABM systems. Sarmat might seem like an ordinary ICBM, but its range is much longer. The legendary Topol M missiles can only take the shortest route through the ABM systems. Sarmat can travel via the North or the South Pole where there's no missile shield, and it will still hit its target. But most importantly, Sarmat is a heavy missile capable of carrying more than 20 warheads. That's five times more than previous generation missiles. The Budovestnik nuclear-powered cruise missile is a unique weapon. It's basically the same as an American Tomahawk. But whereas the Tomahawk's range is limited to two and a half thousand kilometers because of fuel constraints, Russia's new missile can fly indefinitely. It can take any path to avoid missile defenses. Just like Poseidon underwater drones. Similar to the regular drones we're used to, except these are submarine launched and travel at incredible speeds towards their targets under the sea. They run so deep that no equipment can track them. Even if detected, their high speed prevents them from being intercepted. The new weapons can work together to neutralize any existing missile defense systems. Kinjal can destroy ground-based ABM systems. The Sidon drones take care of those at sea. Then, the Sarmat, Avangard and cruise missiles can be launched towards their target, bypassing any remaining barriers. On top of that, there's also a combat laser complex, Perisvet, which is unique because it almost instantly delivers an energy beam to a target and has an unlimited battle reserve. Developing new weapons is not a belligerent move, rather a move to restore parity.